Hey there everybody, what if you wanted to get an RF style console like this Atari 2600 and hook it up to your Sony PVM or really any composite video source but specifically one of your pro video monitors. Well today we're going to look at a device that specifically is made for Sony PVMs and it's made by Sony and that is the Sony TU1041U. Now this is a tuner and what it does is you input your VHF or UHF signal in here and it will output that through this BNC in the form of composite video and it even gives you left and right audio for stereo audio out of this device. Now this has not been tested yet. I just got it out of the mail and I'm really not familiar with how to use it. The only thing we will really be using this for is to connect older consoles. First I want to give a shout out to the 8-Bit Esquire on Twitter. He challenged me to make a video about this device and I only found out about this device really because of him. And I did find one of these things to him. I'm going to show you some of the things I've noticed on here. First off you have DC 12 volt in for power. We have an AC uh, voltage pin here for power and then a battery bay. And if you've seen the Sony PVM or BVMs that are in the 8 inch or 9 inch style then you would have noticed a lot of similarities between this little attachment and an actual PVM. And that is because this is meant to be under a Sony PVM in your setup, whether it's with a rack mount or uh, other types of hardware. You can set it up like this and you could take it on the road with you and you could use the same batteries that were in each of these if you needed to or the same DC 12 volt or AC power in. And then you could just easily run your connection up here to one of your RCA or composite video inputs on this monitor, run it to the output here, and you'd instantly have a VHF tunable, UHF tunable set. Now let's get ready to test this device. The first thing I'm gonna do is put this uh, coaxial adapter on here, which will allow me to connect the Atari's RF cable to this device. And Hopefully I can get that on there. So now we have that connected and then we can just run our audio and then a BNC cable from this into the professional video monitor we're going to be using. And I'll show you which monitor we're going to be testing with this right now. Today we're going to use this Sony PVM 1343MD and we're going to be hooking up the composite video input on it and then we're going to connect that with our RF tuner and that's how we'll be running our test. I'm also going to be using a Harmony cart, which is a development or ROM cart available for the Atari 2600. So I've got my game loaded. I'm going to go ahead and power on this Atari. It's set for channel 2 right now. Now we'll power on our PVM. should be on input B. And we'll let that warm up. And let's go ahead now and try to turn on this tuner and see what happens. Okay, I hear some noises. Okay. Oh, so I do see something on the screen. It's definitely dim. It's in color though. So now we're gonna load a game. Oh, look, it's popping up here. Let's turn the lights out. All right, so there it is, it's running. We've got Hero going now in the background, and I do see a bit of artifacts and things, but it's pretty clear. Um, you can see that we've got full color. Let's see if we've got some sound by resetting a game here. Oh, we do. I'll turn that up just a little bit. There we go. So this is actually working really nicely. It's kind of interesting on the device how if you turn off the console you can hear the fuzz like you normally would from a set that's not a PVM if you just turned it on antenna mode. I've changed it to channel 3 down here on our unit and then we're just going to switch over on the Atari to channel 3 also. We'll put in a new regular game, Miss Pac-Man. We'll load this up and just see if this looks any different or any better.
Come here. There we go. Yeah, this this works really nicely. I'm definitely happy I got this device. So as I'm finishing up here on this level, uh, I will tell you that this device is still not cheap at the moment. I had to pay about $60 to get this shipped to my house from eBay, and I think it's worth that. This is really high quality, of course, because it's a Sony PVM accessory, and um, you're definitely not going to find a cooler like Sony PVM look on any kind of RF uh, converter than the look of this device. I mean, let's just look at it. It's, it's great. It looks just like it belongs under that uh, eight or nine inch PVM. So if you want to combo it with that and just play something that's an RF signal, I think that would be even really cool too. All right, guys, thanks for checking out this cool new piece of hardware with me. And again, I think that uh, this is something that's really awesome and I love it. Thanks again for watching today. Let me know what you think of this device. Do you have any other options that you're using to convert that RF signal over to composite video? Let me know and I'll see you guys next time with some more retro content.